Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Fester 67's workshop. Welcome to issue number five from Hachette Parkworks. Build the iconic Ford Falcon XB GT. A beautiful 1.8 scale die cast Parkwork, folks. And this is the car from the Mad Max movies, folks. So yes, the post-apocalyptic edition. Yeah, look at her, how beautiful she looks. So remember, if you want to build this, head over to this link here. It's also clickable in the description below and take out a subscription for this beautiful part work. So today we're going to be doing the right door, part one of the right door. So there's all the bits we've got, folks. Okay, and this is where it's going to go on your full falcon, just down there. List of all the parts we've got, all the different bits and pieces, windows, seals, mirrors, all of that going on today so we're going to be putting all of that lot into the die cast door and then that's what you'll end up with at the end there a nice door okay uh, history of the fold falcon there this was the american car market back in the day when the big fins were on all the cars there a little lost in seven <laughs> charlie my granddad had one of them yeah Thelma and Louise from 1991 is the car on the screen this month. A little bit of data there. Gives you all the info on the film and what it was all about. Give these mags a read, folks. It's well worth it. And then obviously the ending of the film, the iconic ending. This is the GM EV1. Ahead of its time there, folks. Looking rather, yeah, rather splendid. And mind you, it's not far... Not far off what some of the cars look like now. Yeah, so there you go. Electric power as well. So that's the magazine done. Right here, oh folks, we've got a strip of felt here that's going to go in. And it is telling us to apply it along the top edge as indicated by the arrows. Align the top edge of the felt with the door. Trim away any felt that hangs over the end of said door. Okay, so we're going along this edge here. Okay, that's what it's asking us to do. So if I go with that, it then says obviously if there is any left on the end, just cut it off. But I'll let it all, all stick down first before I even get the scissors anywhere near it. Let's grab that and start putting that on that edge. That's it. And it tells us to work our way along that door. So that's what we're going to do all the way along. I'm going to go tight to the edge because I want the window not to catch any paint. That's the theory anyway. And then I can keep my finger on the edge there. Just to make sure I'm not overhanging the top edge of the door. Okay. You've got like a raised lip that you're aiming for. Which is just there. Like that. Okay. So you just run your finger along that. Just to get that. To bond down, okay. So I'm happy with that, so we don't need none of that. We can discard that piece because we don't need that either. And then it says trim off any excess. Well, I'm gonna let that just shrink back a little bit just to see how it goes, and then we can get the nippers on that little edge just to bring that close to that raised tab. Like that. Right. Next up is asking us to put the mirror together. So we got this piece like so. And then we're getting this section here going in. And it just presses in like so. Just make sure it's all lined up before you push it in. And you'll get a resounding clear because it 
goes right in. You then want your mirror, peel off the paper at the back and then it will peel off the mirror. Okay. So we'll just start that off like that. And then I'll try and get that lined up with that leading edge over there. Like so. And peel that off. And then I'll just rub that with my T-shirt. Just to get the fingerprint off. Like that. There you go. So that's his wing mirror. And then we're going to drop that through the slot in the door and secure that with a DS02 screw. We go through the slot like so. Between them two tabs. And then the DS02 screw is going to go in there. So let's find that. That should be the one at the top there. And we'll put a bit of oil in her because she's going into die cast, folks. A little dot of oil. And then we can then just press that mirror in place and get that screwed in. like that and there's your mirror you then want 5c which is this little door lock or door button and that's going to be held in place with a ps12 screw tinsy wincy screw that one so i'll just make sure we orientate this the correct way because it's got a semicircle shape if i remember rightly yeah, got one flat edge. You want your flat edge at the bottom there, folks. Now bear in mind, it's a black car, so you will get a lot of fingerprints on it. But I am going to be polishing this at the end of the build. Like that, there you go. And that is going in with a tinsy wincy screw, that one. Uh, got my tinsy wincy screwdriver ready. We'll have that. Like so. And then deftly put your finger over the edge of that to hold that in place. And feed that screw in. Like that. So that's the door button in place. So it can only again only go in the one way. Got a bigger big hole and a small one. It can only go in the one way, which is like so. And then that is going to be held in with a PS38 screw, which we've got just there. Put that in with a small screwdriver, like so. Let's grab that. And pop that in place. And that is your door. <gasps> Just wipe the fingerprints off. There you go. So that's what you're going to end up with at the end of this issue, folks. The door with the mirror, the handle, little key lock etc all in place with your felt and everything okay don't forget if you want to build this for yourself head over to this link here that will take you to the hash app website clickable link in the description below take out a subscription for this beautiful 1 8 scale old vulcan mad max car yes. and if you want to help fester out head over to here Click this little fester in the corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really will be grateful. And ring the bell whilst you're there as well so that you get notified of future uploads. Until then, thank you so much for coming in and keeping me company. Stay safe and well, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.